right now I'm working on the uh, control panel. I've actually uh, just removed all the uh, uh, moving parts from the control panel. Um, and uh, I was gonna place an order for repro uh, artwork, but as I was just trying to just literally scratch off the, uh, you can see uh, the, the artwork that was peeling off here already. Look what I'm seeing underneath. Uh, that's the original Pac-Man art. Um, it might be still underneath all that. Interestingly, these are all stickers. Uh, so they, they would apply the Romstar um, generic, I think my Arkanoid has something similar as well. And then they would put uh, just stickers depending on the game. Um, it's just a cheap way to do it. But uh, as much as I'd like to save these, I really have no use of them. Look at the all the uh, discoloration. Um, yeah, I have no interest in them, really. <laughs> and uh, I'm just, uh, I just want to, you know, convert this back to a Pac-Man. But it looks like, yeah, there's a traces of an overlay underneath. And uh, oh man, can I even save that? So this is glued on. You get all this kind of glue residue. You can see it here. Come on, focus. I really need to get the money to uh, get a better camera and stop using my phone for these. But, um, so I don't know what to do if that's underneath, and mostly underneath. Can I save some of it? Okay, I'll try and do my best. I'm not gonna film the process because it might horrify you. I was gonna he use a, a heat gun I'm just trying to lift as much as possible, but uh, does that mean? Just let me. Like, can I use this guy? Just very briefly and very gently. At least. Okay, I'm gonna pick at it for a while and see if I can reveal more of the artwork. Well, what do you know? Look at this. This is actually still underneath. And in quite decent condition, if you ask me. I mean, here there's a bit of uh, damage and rust, but it's mostly mostly in fine condition. Um, I'm using a, a heat gun um, and uh, and these uh, sort of uh, just wood knives. Uh, I'm used to doing this with wood knives. Some people use a scraper, but. I just find wood knives literally really really gets underneath properly um, but look at this um, I'm gonna keep going see how much I can salvage um, my biggest worry is the diff drill holes here so I won't be able to save that but I might be able to save this uh, this art here and uh, that would be great that would be great well, it's, it's very sticky. I'm gonna have a hard time trying to get a, that sticky to go. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going, guys. Well, man, look at that. Um, wow, that actually cleaned up great. Well, at least at least this part here. Um, I could actually, this is there's loads of goo left and uh, actually the silk screen has gone in parts. But most of the artwork, is still here so I'm wondering whether um, should I make an effort to, to keep that wouldn't make sense wouldn't it um, the top part unfortunately um, it wouldn't be too bad to be honest um, if it was just that but obviously the drilled the drill extra holes for uh, for the uh, for the buttons uh, and then uh, Bondo these two. Is that Bondo? Looks like it's Bondo. Um, should be able to. Yeah, my god. Anyway, so. Yeah, this stage, I'm not sure what to do. Well, this isn't too bad, I have to say. And the cool thing is, this was actually just a... Um, just a small rectangle, just going over all these screws. So, 
I could get just that printed and then sort of restore the bottom because the artwork here is uh, is still okay. It's gonna look weird though. It's gonna it, it will look. Ah uh, oh man, I don't know. Because the new artwork you get just has a different feel to it. Although, yeah, I don't know. Don't know what to do here. Uh, I need to think about it. I'll probably just order a new uh, a new decal that goes over the entire panel. Um, and be done with it because here yeah by the time I clean all that more paint is gonna peel off such a shame because the artwork is uh, the actual place where the artwork is yeah I'll see all these they're all traces of uh, just the art gone it's all scraped here it just went with the uh, glue of the uh, the previous artwork there's not much I could do about it um, if it was a super super rare cabinet like there's only a few examples left and um, maybe I, I would consider keeping it I might just I don't know I don't know what to do here um, let's go away Bondo um, I'm gonna have to fill these anyway. Yeah, there's no way around. I have to get a replacement for this. Um, I'm just. I'm not gonna repro the uh, or repaint properly. Or here, I. Because that that wasn't even. I think that was silk. Um, as far as I know. Well, from what I've gathered from one of John's arcades uh, videos, that was silk printed. So. Uh, anyway, look at guys. Um, that's the good news. Well, it's a funny discovery, right? The uh, the artwork was still underneath, and uh, uh, it actually gave me an idea of uh, <laughs> yeah, very nice, very very nice. Um, yeah, that's peeling off. That's just us. Oh, not gone, cause I, you know, it might it, it will be a nightmare to clean anyway. I think I'm just gonna replace the whole, uh, the whole lot of it. Yeah, I'll give it a clean and uh, and uh, reassess after that. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately, I don't think I can, uh, I can save this. Um, uh, I need to actually just treat and. Uh, and send down all the rust that is here. I see more uh, signs of rust uh, on this guy as well. Just small ones, but that needs to be, yeah, that needs to be uh, addressed and cleaned. Fortunately, I mean, look at I didn't, I didn't think it was actually underneath. That, that was actually a, a nice surprise uh, to see all that. Um, it looks okay from from a distance, but it's just up close that you know. It, it, look at that. It, you know, I can't. I can't spend all this time restoring an arcade machine and and, uh, and leave that on it. You know, um, all this rust. So if I if I start sanding here, um, once you start sanding, see rust spreads from underneath as well. So it's just. Uh, I'm just going to try and find. It. Uh, yeah, you can see the signs here. Of, uh, it's rusted underneath. It's not not rusted. But it's just a bit pitted, and uh, uh, I'm gonna have to strip everything off, sand and clean the metal, uh, just prime it, and then uh, apply my uh, my replacement vinyl over it. That's just the way it is. So, well, I think. Uh, Oh man, I don't want to have to do this. <laughs> but uh, I think I'm gonna have to continue scraping and uh, scrape all all the rest off here. Blech. So I've taken apart the uh, the metal and the uh, the wood. The back of this is actually uh, is actually wood, uh, and I'm just filling the holes. I've put a tape on the back here, and I'm just. Uh, 
essentially filling pretty much every hole that was drilled, extra hole that was drilled. So these are uh, these six ones, uh, and these ones were still there. They had filled them, thankfully, with uh, just a very thin plate of uh, whatever it was, bondo or something like that, two size. But uh, uh, so uh, these were here, so that's perfect. And I've uh, so I've stripped the top. That was uh, that was the easiest one to strip. The top one, I just cannot scrape it with uh, with heat, so I'm just using some uh, paint remover, uh, letting that set for a, uh, a few hours. Uh, I can see it bubbling already, so it's working. Um, and then we'll uh, we'll sand all that, clean the the rust on it, prime it, and uh, put it back on the uh, on the wood. And we'll have to uh, fill these holes as well with a uh, fiberglass. Sorry, these one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that that'll be easy enough. That'll be made much uh, easier actually, and I'll have to use less fiberglass because I've used a filler for these. Um, so yeah, there you go. And I have the entire assembly, uh, joystick assembly, just disconnected because there's a couple of things I want to do. First, I need to clean this guy, and I I'm not sure why it blocks. So I. Just want to clean all the uh, this rust and gunk and all sort of stuff on it, uh, and then I'm gonna tidy these guys. They're soldered on, and uh, I'm just gonna use uh, uh, connectors and crimp connectors and uh, connect them uh, like that. Uh, yeah. So with this guy, I need to check what's wrong with it because. Uh, I have a feeling there's probably just dirt preventing it. So it should be it should be loose enough for sticking out slightly like that. So I wonder. I wonder why, because it makes sense that it it jams, because the uh, that big thick piece of metal here is preventing it from uh, moving from side to side. But yeah, I'm not quite sure. It could be there's a grommet inside as well. So it could be that that just too rusty and just uh, prevents it from moving. Anyway. Um, Right now, I can't do much more on the control panel. Uh, I need to wait for this uh, to dry. Um, will I just detach everything here? Yeah, I might just do that. Detach all the, uh, unscrew all these. Put that in a small, uh, and just wash them, actually. Just give them a wash and a clean and uh, reassemble it, see if it makes a difference. I'd like to keep it. I'm hoping it's not busted. This doesn't really look too bad. Should be easy to fix, but uh, you never know with these things. Uh, anyway, okay, let's uh, let's keep working. I might just uh, do this. All right, that's the uh, panel. So, take off my mask. Uh, that's the uh, panel all uh, stripped and sanded down. Um, I sort of have to move fast here, I don't want to rust to set back in, so uh, I'm just gonna briefly uh, just prime it with some paint um, just to protect the metal and then I'll sand back a bit uh, around the uh, all the holes here, uh, apply some uh, some uh, fiber, uh, actually put it back and apply the, uh, put some fiberglass and then uh, do a second coat of paint uh, just over them. Okay, let's get moving. Right here, I have uh, well, I've had the uh, all the control, the uh, sorry, the joystick assembly just uh, bathing in not Jack Daniels, but uh, <laughs> um, vinegar, just white vinegar. Um, I have a few bottles of these, very handy. Those big bottles to uh, store vinegar, but uh, this used to be white vinegar that obviously. Uh, has seen its share of rust and will continue to see a lot of it. <clears throat> but uh, I just used that to uh, de-rust some of the part. This was the, the grommet that goes inside of this guy and that was all actually fairly gunked and rusted and so was the inside of this. Um, should make things a bit better. I'm just gonna use some very, very mild, uh, maybe a wire wool. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, it's a bit of a cough today. Uh, some stuff like that and just uh, just buff them uh, but I'm, I have them now bathing in just uh, uh, water um, 
50 what ionized or whatever it is with no minerals just so uh, uh, just to take the uh, vinegar off um, so I'm gonna sand them just very lightly and then uh, and then put it back together but uh, I'll probably do a, a few baths of this just to make sure the vinegar is all off okay yeah it's actually looking a lot better uh, so let's uh, clean this I think it's time to test the uh, the harness um, and the inside. So I've, I've actually tidied and cleaned up a bit, um, getting things ready. But yeah, this. Um, I've uh, I've cleaned everything here. Uh, I've already tested those fuses. They're actually fine. Uh, now this is uh, this is all rigged up for uh, American voltage. So. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a transformer as well just to send or convert the uh, 220 into a uh, what is it 110 or 115 or something like that <clears throat> but uh, yeah um, so <clears throat> everything seems to be okay I'm not seeing any loose uh, connection or anything broken so um, things I want to test I want to test this um, this uh, switching power supply. So at some point, when they did the conversion, uh, so I think this is the, let me think, I think this is the monitor power supply. And I think this is, um, yeah, this is the isolation transformer for the monitor, and this is the uh, a transformer for, um, well, it was gonna be the, P the Backman PCB, and then and then uh, the, the uh, lights and everything. Um, the, what's interesting about these cabs, the Pac-Man cabs, is that the Pac-Man PCB um, actually gets uh, AC uh, five is it is it five and twelve but it's AC and the, the power is converted on the board itself um, but you can still send a, a DC uh, anyway um, just the conversion you know nothing happens because it's already converted but uh, and it ends up being still five DC so you can use a, a DC as well but it was AC at the time so uh, what they've done is, is actually they've actually disconnected all the uh, AC lines here and used this switching power supply because that was converted to a, a Trojan afterwards so instead of rewiring everything just for Pac-Man I think we're gonna stick with that uh, format it'll be, be probably more reliable easier to fix and diagnose and um, and uh, yeah I can then you know have that as a jammer harness and then uh, and put anything I want really in this uh, in this cap. So if I want to put a 16 one instead of just a Pac-Man, for example, or I have a bomb jack at the moment, you know, while I wait for a Pac-Man um, PCB to arrive, I can't quite afford it at the moment. So uh, it's gonna have to be a probably bomb jack for a while. But um, um, yeah, so I think we're just gonna have to uh, go ahead and plug this and. Uh, and just test it and see what happens. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not much that can happen here. Maybe a bit of smoke from this guy if it doesn't work. But uh, so I have my transformer here, set for 110. Um, output. Okay, we got a light here. Uh, so there's a few things I need to check. First, I need to check voltage in this guy. This is the monitor. Um, monitor supply, so I need to set that to AC. <clears throat> I really like doing this with one hand. Uh, we got 120 there, 118. Yeah, so that sounds about right. This is what the monitor would need. Uh, so so okay, here we are good. Um, what have we here on the lights? I'm not sure what we're supposed to get. I'm assuming probably probably a 12 volt. Um, come on. 
Do, 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 do. Um, I don't want to have any easy way to test this. Uh, I need to set up to DC, sorry. So we have, yeah, we have a 12. Uh, 12 volt reading here, perfect. So that means I could technically take uh, the bulb here. Oh yeah, there you go. And this is how the marquee is lit up. <laughs> um, have I enough? Yes. So at least we have a bit of life in the uh, transformers uh, and the switching power supply, um, I think I just need 12, the 12 volts and, and 5 out of that, so 12 should be that yellow one. Uh, there's a light here, what does it say? Green okay. Red high, yeah, orange is uh, low. Okay, so this is the the sweet spot, and then, uh, but I'm looking for 12 here. Are we getting 12? Hold on. Apologize for all the uh, weird angle there. Uh, See, I tried using a tripod for these, but it's uh, it's just awkward because you can't really see the details of uh, what I'm doing. But then, if I use my my hands, um, oh, I'm in AC. Sorry. Okay, we've got five here on what should be twelve, or about six. And here we have 1.8, 1 1.7, 1 1.8. Can I even just try and adjust that? I don't know. It go, it's going as far as two, just about two. Do you know what? I think this uh, switching power supply is mostly at yeah, two. That should be five and twelve, and we're getting, we're getting two and six. Okay, so this. Uh, This switching supply is uh, is gone. Let's say um, suspiciously halved. Should I even bother trying to fix it or just to get a new one? These are cheap enough, um, and uh, they are cheap enough. I don't think it's. You know, I'll take it out. I'll I'll, I'll see if I can do something with it, but I, I'll probably need to buy a new one. Um, Yeah, because by the time I source whatever components are gone in it, um, pay for postage and everything, it's probably, it's probably just as easy to get a new one. Um, yeah, I'll do that. So, it's all working. We, we got the right voltages uh, in most places, except the switching power supply. <coughs> and uh, actually, what are we getting in there? Uh, we should be getting... What was it, 115 we're getting at the uh, monitor? Or 118, we should be getting something similar. And I don't like doing this AA thing, it's on the AC. But, yeah, we're getting 115, okay. So that's good, that's what it should be. Uh, is there anything I should check? Well, the, this is the uh, monitor uh, RGB, uh, so we've got red, green and blue. Uh, this is our I, either our ground or sync, I'd say it's probably ground, and this is probably the sync um, signal. 
and then that's really it the other ones are connectors for the uh, for all the uh, the buttons and joysticks but <clears throat> because we're not getting 5 volt anyway uh, they will be well they will be connected but we can't plug anything even to test the harness so uh, I need a new switching power supply and then convert this convert this guy to a, a jammer harness so I see there's holes here uh, I would say what they probably did is to have everything nice and tight they probably brought all these that would make sense one two three four maybe not um, I'd say that's probably where these were though um, so we might need to bring this back up a bit because uh, the Pac-Man board is quite big um, but we'll see when we get one that's uh, something we can uh, always deal with uh, later interesting though uh, so that's gonna be it's just gonna be tedious shouldn't be too hard what I'll do is I'll probably take these one by one just trace where they're going identify what they are um, actually no they're even easier I will I'll get the um, the uh, uh, the pinout for for uh, Trojan and then uh, just make sure they they're correct but just uh, uh, leave, leave little labels on them as well so I know which is which uh, and then I can rewire everything afterwards um, these ones are easy because I can trace them back to connectors but for all these kind of gets a bit more tricky uh, and that's the connector for the coin door um, yeah I just need to match the colors and make notes really um, it shouldn't be too hard it's just gonna take a, a couple of hours because it's just tedious work anyway uh, let's keep working so um, I need to order one of these and then I think now I am going to focus on that kick plate or will I or will I I think we need to move on to the uh... huh. I'm not sure I'm not sure anyway uh, let's keep working it's a little bit of an update on this uh, I've uh, taken out the uh, the whole harness uh, well uh, sorry adapter connector and that was here and I have a brand new one somewhere uh, there you go um, for JAMA I think these were the same size if I'm here yeah, are they yeah they were actually the same size so it was two, 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 let me check okay so it's same um, it's the same size. it doesn't matter actually but um actually it doesn't matter at all I'm, I don't know why I'm checking this but uh, as you can see I've made uh, notes of every single one so as I took them out I've grouped them together and actually that's the uh, that's coming apart but I've uh, done my best to group them together uh, so this is all the for instance this is all the uh, monitor stuff so you have the sync you've read RGB and ground uh, this is the audio one uh, do, 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 what is this one I think this is yeah this is the power supply stuff here uh, coming from the power supply this is the control panel I think yeah control panel and this is the coin door um, so just join them together and make make it easier to um, to uh, identify what they are so I've, um, yeah anyway so I have the JAMA standard here there's only one actually that I just couldn't take out properly that actually uh, snaps this one so I'm just I have a, another I saved all the other connectors so I'm gonna reuse them and I'll replace this one come on focus there you go. Oh, you don't want to focus well you get the idea um, so I'm gonna replace this one and then slowly but surely uh, replace the uh, the connector I got a new power supply that's the old one but I'm, I'm gonna obviously uh, disconnect that and uh, and replace it and uh, and yeah I have reassembled as well the uh, the uh, joystick uh, the control panel so as you can see it's not looking too bad um, you can just about tell where the uh, old buttons were there's a sort of a, a shadow you can't actually feel them so but uh, obviously still there once we have the overlay it will be gone the joystick is nice and just super flexible now um, yeah it was all it just needed a clean it was all rusted and gunked up 
um, and then polished afterwards. Uh, the buttons are here. There's only two buttons, player one, player two. There's no fire button on a, on Pac-Man, so that's okay. I, I'll probably I'll probably need a fire button for him at the beginning because I, I don't have a Pac-Man, but I put a, a 16 one just set to Pac-Man. So just to, for ease of use, I'll probably have a, a, a connector inside or a button inside that uh, I can uh, activate by opening the coin door. Um, yeah. But for now, um, this is uh, this is what I need to do. I need to replace that connector and then uh, and slowly map my way through the uh, jammer. Harnessed. Let's go. Cool. 